Yeah. He actually ordered that uh, about a year ago. Oh, and nice. She He's showed been using up. it ever since, huh? Yeah, she, he showed. I oh, know it's really hard to play with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he does. I think he just does it because it's hilarious. But um, Nagy's also known. He has a second name tag on the back of his shirt that says Nagy, and in parentheses, let me in. Uh, <laughs> okay. He got locked out of our venue, our old venue, in the middle of winter while there was a snowstorm going on. Yikes. Okay. And, um, like, then from then on, like, the legend goes that no one ever let Nagy in, and he's still freezing outside. <laughs> well. it's a, Oh, they're actually playing. Oh. No, yeah, they're in it. Oh, I, I thought it was a hand warmer. But then I realized it's uh, Cheek Samus, they're not, and it's Nagy. Nagy doesn't hand warm. Doesn't hand warm. <laughs> uh, I would say two among the uh, the least hand warmable characters, but then some people would get pretty offended about that. Uh, uh, as there is some tech. Uh, well, then you got Puff. Uh, oh yeah, true, true. Um, yeah, I think that'd be about it. Those are definitely in the three. I mean, it's not like they're like double jump canceling or like trying to jump cancel like shine and all that. You mm -hmm. know, there's there's a couple of things going on where they both need to work out the kinks for sure, like the needle turnarounds and if oh. you're if you're a cool guy, you know, you go for the uh, the super wave dashes with Samus. How did he lose two stuff? He he lost. Socks two and three so quick that I didn't even notice him losing them. I want to say that they were player oh. related, unfortunately. Ooh, I think I, I think good. Let's like give some controller Johns. That's got to be a hard controller to play with. I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I I really want to say that those like last three stocks were all just like flub, like complete mistake stocks, like that he just took percent during. The local hero isn't much of a hero today, unfortunately. Sorry, Nagy. Uh, no, it's okay. He still has a chance to make it up. And he's he is on stream with the uh, keyboard controller, so we're fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, he's he's coming through for sure. He also is playing uh, maybe what people consider Samus's hardest matchup against uh, one of the most renowned sheiks to do it um, across the melee's entire history. Right. I, yeah, I imagine uh, he probably ended up playing against like uh, players like Spaceballs way back in the day and stuff like that. I have, I, actu I have actually played Spaceballs. Uh, have you? Yeah, he's a nice guy. Uh, we were pl we played about a year ago at Kentucky Regionals. He, mm. uh, I'll never forget. He uh, moonwalk extender grappled me. <laughs> and I, I, I that sounds just comical. I paused and I was like, "Did you really just do this to me?" And he's like, "Yeah." And then like he was doing Ooh. stuff like. You know how uh, foxes in air will do like shine nair, mm -hmm. like to extend the combo. He did like bomb nair with with Samus, and I was like, like uh, how like the bomb explodes and then you uh, it, like cancels the animation. Yeah, that's comical. I was like, yo, this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. You're, he's like the most aggro uh, Samus I've ever played against. Right. No. Like uh, I remember the the first time I ever met him was at my first tournament actually. Really. Um, yeah. Which was uh, in Champaign um, in 2009. I'm trying to remember. I believe it was uh, not. It was not end the pain. Uh, it's uh, show me your moves. Oh yeah. The show me your moves in 2009 was my first tournament. Historic series. Uh, yeah. Historic series. Absolutely. Uh, featuring Mewtwo King and uh, Mango. I do believe. We're at. Uh, uh, like uh, at a church. Uh, in Champagne. I knew that that was the old venue because I was at the, my first Show Me Your Moves was the one that wasn't at the church. Oh, okay, word. But yeah, no, that that was really interesting because um, what you call it? A uh, little little player trivia for me. Um, uh, my cousins are Matt and Tamar. Uh, if you know of them, they are legendary uh, break the targets and home run contest uh, legends. Gotcha. Um, and so they they went to school in Champagne and they showed me about the competitive scene. And I was like, okay, I'm pretty good in my play group, but I know that these two guys are really good, right? At the time, I'm thinking, like, these guys are, like, the best in the world. Come through, you know, play against some people out here, out in Champagne, just carnage. There's nothing else to be said other yep. than uh, here I am today still playing this game because it's a beautiful work of art. It's a beautiful, beautiful work of art. Oh, I'm off the screen. Hello. And uh, there goes Dreffen 2-0. That, like that first game was such a heartbreaker honestly like I felt I felt like really really bad about that it's just unfortunate